Bill Schwab, winebuzz.com here. Uh, and we just tasted the Malbec from uh, at Mesquite. And this is the 07 Cabernet Sauvignon. And Tony, I know you did a little research on this. And uh, we hit, uh, wow, look at the color on that. Uh, I know it was uh, 89, 90, what was it in Parker again? 90. 90, 90 yeah. point Parker. Yeah. Let's get a little shot of the color here. Because the Malbec shocked us with the ink. And this is just as inky, just as extracted. And not to compare it to the Malbec, but this is a much brighter nose. The Malbec was uh, thick and, and unctuous on the nose. Uh, this is brighter, uh, more vibrant on the nose. Definitely a little bit more of that cedar cigar box. A little bit more of the wood coming back on us. The nose and the palate aren't quite meshed because the fruit on the nose is very bright and almost uh, uh, light and vibrant, while the palate is much richer, much more extracted. Um, beautiful in the mouth, though, because it gives you that, that those two layers of flavor. Uh, I'm getting a great tannin grip to it, uh, relatively low acidity. I assume the alcohol will be relatively high, 14.5. It doesn't show it. It's not hot. I don't get any burn. Um, Beautiful stuff. Slightly more into the cocktail wine than the Malbec, so I think this would perform better by itself than the Malbec, but I wouldn't be afraid to throw some meat with it. Um, uh, but I can even throw something a little lighter. By light for me, maybe a uh, uh, shiitake, cremony, mushroom-based pasta. Um, uh, a little heavy cream in there, uh, uh, maybe some uh, uh, fire roasted vegetables, something with some, some, some gusto to it, but without being heavy. Uh, beautiful, beautiful wine. Uh, I'm shocked that it was 90 points by Parker. Parker usually likes something that's much more burned to it. This is so silky, so elegant. Uh, I would rate it higher than that personally, but I don't like to give numbers. To a cab or to any wine. Very, very nice. Cassis, very typical Cabernet. I'm very happy with it. Now, Tony, um, I know we were able to get the Malbec down to under 35. Can we work the same magic on the cab? Yeah, we should. Be. We're going to try to keep it uh, around 33, 34. 33, 34? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, if we can do that, uh, uh, maybe we can work something out on a uh, shipping deal. Yeah. Think? Yeah, we'll give it a go. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Outstanding. Well, um, I think that's it. I think we need to wrap these bottles up, take them out uh, for dinner. You hungry, Tony? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Bill Schwab, thank you very much.